Hello everyone and welcome back to my redstone testing world. In this video we're going to try to build a system that dispenses items out of a chest once it, once it reaches a certain level of fullness. So as per usual in this video I'm going to try to not only show you how this thing works but also show you the design process behind it. So let's talk about how to sense the fullness of a chest. So if you've got a comparator facing out of a chest and you've got some redstone output and you put some stuff in the chest. So let's say we put some things in the chest. You'll see that we have a redstone output. And the redstone output is proportional, see it stops there, to how full the chest is. So let's say we fill this chest up a little bit more. We're going to get more of a redstone output on this side. And I actually want these items. So let's say once a chest gets, I don't know, maybe this full, we want it, the dispenser to start dispensing items out of the chest and throwing them away. So we only want a certain amount of items in the chest. Maybe this is attached to a storage system and we don't want it to overflow and we don't want many of these items. For example, I've done this with my iron farm with poppies. I do want some poppies for red dye, but I don't want a ton backing up my storage system and I don't want mass storage for them. I don't need a lot of them. So let's talk about how we're going to design this. So let's say we want it to reach this level of fullness and then start emptying. So let's get some hoppers. Actually we're going to need some hoppers. So let's grab those and let's put a hopper facing into this block and then let's make the hoppers go all the way back into the place where they're under the chest. So I'm going to have to go under here real quick and right like that. So you'll see that these items start flowing out into the hoppers which is exactly what we want. Um, we'll have the hoppers fill up and then go back up into the chest. So let me get some more diorite so that I can put a little bit more in this chest. Actually I'm going to fill these hoppers for now because that's just going to be the easiest. Okay awesome. We've got a dropper here that is full. We've got hoppers here that are full. And we've got a chest here that's to the desired capacity. So once it reaches this capacity, we want it to empty items a little bit until it reaches a lower capacity. And when we take some of these out, you'll see that the redstone stops here. So what that means is that we want something that is triggered by this redstone being active right here that starts draining the items and then once the chest gets down to about this level of fullness it will stop. So we want something to be triggering this dispenser when this redstone's active. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a sticky piston and I'm going to have that push an observer in front of another observer to make an observer clock. So for anyone who doesn't know, I'm going to actually show how this works first, showing a observer clock. So if you've got two, pist two observers facing into each other, they'll start triggering each other back and forth like this. And that can put a redstone output to either side. So what I want to happen is this redstone right here at the end is going to trigger a piston that's going to start an observer clock. So I probably want it here. Yeah, exactly. So I want that to push an observer here into an observer right here. And that will start triggering the dropper over and over again. And I probably want these items to go into lava or something like that. So let me get a lava bucket and put some lava at the bottom. There we go. So now the items are being dispensed into lava. It doesn't look like they're going over the sides, but if you want to be safe, oh, looks like one did. Um, you can put blocks around the sides so that they don't escape like that. Just like that. And we should be good. You can even put one block right there. So awesome. Our system is working. It's dispensing items. The chest is not quite emptying yet. Um, it doesn't look like it is. So that's an interesting issue. Let's see what's what's happening there. So I figured it out. It's This hopper isn't draining into this hopper because this hopper is actually locked, which means a redstone output is going on that hopper. So let's do 
a little bit of a change in design. Instead of having the redstone line coming right next to this hopper and locking it, I think that might be, lo be what's locking the hopper. Let's instead have actually a red redstone output going here, and we have one, two, and then a piston. So let's do the let's do actually a repeater here, so that as long as the signal gets gets to here, it will end up going into this piston that we're gonna that we're gonna put. Uh, I guess we can keep the piston there. Or just in case that's what's locking the hoppers, let's actually move the piston over by one. So let's get a sticky piston. Um, do keep in mind, this is something I just learned, that red, a redstone line running directly next to the top of the hoppers will power a hopper. Looks like this is getting powered, perfect. And now we should see things draining out of the chest, hopefully. And when the chest is Yep, stuff is flowing out of the chest. Awesome. So let's now simulate what happens if the chest gets empty enough and the redstone output doesn't reach the end of this. Yep, there we are. So the redstone output stopped here because the chest isn't full enough. And if we want, if we want the chest to be a little more full when it stops, um, we can go ahead and put a repeater here. So now we have to actually fill up this chest a little bit more in order to get it to stop. So now let's look at this. Um, looks like the redstone output is still going. Now if we take a little bit of things out of this chest, we should see that the redstone output... Yeah, look at that. The redstone output doesn't reach the repeater. I know you can't really see it because it's night, so let's do a time set day real quick there you go you can see that and now this dropper has stopped dropping items into the lava so what that means is that there you know there's still hoppers that aren't completely full like right here um, the dropper isn't completely full but these items will drain until they fill up the hoppers and the dropper again and then it will stop draining items from this chest so yeah, I consider this a success. This is a great way to keep a certain amount of items in a chest um, without having your system overflow by getting rid of the rest. Hopefully this was helpful for you in looking at the design process behind redstone, learning about observer clocks, learning about powering hoppers. When you do power a hopper again, it stops things from going through that hopper, so that can be really useful in some redstone devices. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful to show you the design process behind this. Hopefully you can find a use for this in your world. I know that I did with my poppies at my iron farm so they didn't overflow it. And thanks so much for watching. If you really like this video, you can subscribe to see more. I've got other redstone videos on my channel. I think right now, actually, as of this recording, I just have one. But yeah, hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.